So, um, hello, um, I'm Victoria. I've been a massage practitioner for 25 years. And I actually came up with this um, Hello You type work um, during the, the COVID experience to support clients to kind of come back into their bodies um, more regularly and realized that, wow, I actually have been doing this sort of stuff for a long time and not really sort of even noticing that I've been doing it. Um, so this is, a, this is a way of coming into your body. Uh, some people move, some people don't move. Um, some people do this standing up, some people do it lying down, some people uh, do it sitting. I'll be seated today so that I stay near the uh, microphone. And so it's just really personal. It's just how you feel in the moment. So I'm just going to explain what I'm going to do. So basically, the idea is that I am going to um, start to talk about noticing your own body and as I do that I'm going to pose it like a question and uh, pose it like an invitation so the question is for you to bring it into your own body and kind of answer it through the body uh, that might sound confusing but once I start you'll be like oh yeah I know what she means that's really easy um, and uh, if you um, feel at any point like there's something that's a bit awkward or a bit difficult about the movement just soften off just soften off we often try a bit too hard in these kind of situations we kind of think we've got a bit a bit quite a lot of effort in and we really don't in this situation anyway we're literally just saying hello you to each bit of our body as we go through um, the reason I don't answer questions through is because um, I'm wanting you to be really with yourself and so there's there's no sort of question there um, but at the end like Stephanie said you're absolutely welcome to bring in a question or maybe just a comment on how you found it that's really helpful for me and also you can connect with me afterwards if you want to um, through my website which is truemassagetherapy.co.uk and just uh, ask me a question or um, maybe even just let me know how you found it so thank you so much for joining I um, really feel genuinely um, yeah, emotional and honoured to be part of World Childless Week, which I'm really passionate about. So let's get going. Um, I'm going to cover up my camera with this little post-it note. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because I don't want you to feel in any way that I'm watching you or that in any way that the movements that I'm doing, because I'm going to be doing it alongside you, um, are the, is the right way to do it. So I'm going to cover up the camera in a moment. So you'll be able to hear me, but you won't be able to see me. Just coming back to the idea that you can start this wherever you want. You can start it standing, lying down, sitting. I'm going to imagine, just for the ease of it, that you're standing up. And you might move from one place to another, or you might um, just even imagine that you're moving you don't actually have to move at all. So this is all about how you're interpreting it. So I'm going to put the little post-it over. So by the magic of um, a bit of Blue Peter type technology, <laughs> I'm going to begin. So beginning to notice your own feet. You might notice that you're aware of one foot more than the other. And that's absolutely fine. You're just noticing what you're noticing. And then when you feel like you're ready, you're going to lift your right heel away from the floor if you're sitting you can do this and if you're lying down move your heel as if you were moving your heel 
away from the floor. And if you're not moving at all in this session, again, just imagine that you're moving your heel away from the floor. And then when you're ready, you're gonna slowly place your heel back down on the floor. And notice how does your foot feel now? When you're ready, lifting your right heel off the ground and slowly returning your right heel to the earth. And one final time, lifting your right heel off the ground and slowly when you're ready, returning your right heel back to the earth. And notice, how does your right foot feel now? There's no right or wrong answer to this. You're just noticing how your right foot feels now. When you're ready, bring your attention to your toes on your right side and lift your toes away, feeling the space opening up underneath your toes and then slowly allow your toes to return to the earth. When you're ready, lifting your toes up, away from the earth, allow yourself to feel the spaces between your toes. And then when you're ready, returning your toes to the earth. And then one final time, lifting the toes of your right foot and really feeling how much space you can get underneath them and between them before you gently return them to the earth. And just notice how does your right foot feel now? And what is happening for your left foot? How would it be to invite your left foot to make the same movements? Invite your left heel to raise off the floor. Feel the stretch inside your foot. And then when you're ready, slowly returning your foot to the earth. Remembering that this is your way. There's no right way or wrong way. It's just your way. And then when you're ready, lifting your heel, left heel up, feeling the stretch inside your foot, feeling what's happening in your toes, and then slowly returning your left heel to the earth. And then one final time, lifting your left heel, really feeling the space opening up And slowly returning your left heel back down to the ground. And how does your left foot feel now?
sensing into the left toes now, and you know the invitation, let yourself do it, lifting your toes up, feeling the space opening up between your toes. And then when you're ready, softening back down. Once again, lifting your left toes, feeling the space opening up underneath them and between them. And then when you're ready, returning your toes to the earth. And one final time, bringing your attention to your left toes, lifting them off the earth, and notice if you're trying too hard, if you're pushing, just let your toes soften. Just let them raise, lift as much or as little as they want to. And if they don't want to lift at all, just imagine them lifting. Imagine the space underneath your toes and between your toes. And now bring your attention to the whole of your left foot. How does it feel now? What kinds of movements does your left foot want to make? It might want to lift and roll around. It might want to point. It might want to flex. It might want to be completely still, feeling into your left foot and just doing what feels really good, feeling into the movements of your left foot, toes in between your toes, the sides of your foot, the outside, the inside, and the sole of your left. And what is happening for your right foot? How would it be to invite your right foot to explore the kinds of movements that it wants to make? The movements might be similar to the left foot, or you might notice that they're really different. One foot might be much slower and quieter than the other. One foot might feel heavier or lighter than the other. One foot may feel like it wants to explore and one foot might feel like it doesn't want to go anywhere at all. Really sensing into the kinds of movements that your left foot and your right foot want to make together. Really invite them to explore movements together. You might get some little clicks, some little pops, some little icky bits. Just let yourself explore gently and don't worry at all if there's some creaks and cracks, pops, clicks. That's just the bones of your body, the bones of your toes and feet opening up and out.
And what is happening for your ankles? What would it be like to allow your ankles to join in with the movements of your feet and toes? Really let your ankles join in. Become aware of the spaces inside your ankles, the spaces between the bones. How much more can you enjoy the movements of your ankles? your feet and your toes. And what is happening for your calf muscles and your shins? Oh yes, what happens when you invite the movements of your calf muscles and your shin bones into the movements of your ankles and toes? Notice if you're trying to do some kind of stretch or some kind of push and just move away from that. Notice what feels really good instead. What kinds of movements, sensations feel really good? Your shin bones and your calves. And there might be no movement at all. And that is absolutely fine and really welcome. Just explore what feels really good. Your shin bones and your calf muscles. And what is happening for your knees? Bring your attention now into your knees, your lovely, lovely knees. And if it feels good, maybe even give your knees a little rub and say, hello, you, your knees. And if that doesn't feel right or it's not possible for you, just imagine giving your knees a little stroke, a little cuddle and saying, hello, you, your knees. And then invite them in to the movement. What kinds of movements do these knees want to make? Let yourself make the kinds of movements that your knees want to make. Notice, are you concentrating on the front of your knees? What happens if you allow the soft backs 
of your knees to lead the movements. What happens if you allow the outsides of your knees or maybe the insides of your knees to lead the movements? Explore all the movements that these beautiful knees of yours want to make. might notice there's a bit of discomfort or a bit of stickiness, a bit of an ache, and that's okay. Just listening and doing the kinds of movements that feel really good. And what is happening for your thighs? Imagine now that you allow your thighs to be invited to lead the movements. What kinds of movements does your inner thigh on your right side want to make? What kinds of movements does your inner thigh on your left side want to make? Let yourself explore the movements inside your thighs the side of your thighs, the fronts of your thighs, and the soft insides of your thighs. Really noticing the kinds of movements that feel really good for you. Maybe noticing what happens when you invite your thighs to explore the space around you. Invite your thighs to explore the space above you. Explore the space below you. To explore the space to the sides of you. To explore the space in front of you and behind you.
And what is happening for your hips? Really notice now what happens when you invite your hips into the movements. Really letting your hips find the kinds of movements that they want to make. might feel like the kinds of movements mean that you're pushing your pubic bone forwards, pushing your pubic bone back, lifting your pubic bone forwards, lifting your pubic bone back, rolling, swirling, figure eights, you might notice that your pelvis, your hips, feel so happy when they're still. Just notice what feels really good for your hips, your pelvis, your pubic bone. Then, when you're ready, allow your hips and your pelvis to really begin to explore the space around you, above you, below you, to the sides of you, behind you, and in front of you. Really let yourself take some time to move, breathe, sense into the spaciousness around your own hips and pelvis. And what is happening for your belly? Really sense now the kinds of movements that your belly wants to make. Invite your belly into these movements of your hips and your pelvis and your pubic bone and notice how your body shifts to change the difference what happens when your belly is invited to lead the movements? What happens if you invite your belly to take up more space? To 
let your belly move into this space above you, below you, to the sides of you, behind you, and in front of you. Feeling into the kinds of movements that feel really good for your belly. And if it feels good, just give your belly a little bit of a cuddle. Feel what happens when you give your belly a bit of a cuddle and say hello you to your own belly. Maybe introduce a bit of a cuddle for your hips and your pelvis too. Just saying, hello, you. And what is happening for your spine? Really let yourself connect with your spine. Let the movements of your belly, hips, and spine really connect with each other. Let your spine lead the movements now. And notice, have you included your neck and your tailbone in the movements of your spine? You might notice there's some places in your spine that feel a bit sticky, a bit stuck. A little bit, a little bit stiff maybe. And that's absolutely fine. Everything is welcome. Just moving the way it feels really good for your spine. And allowing your spine now to really explore the space around you, above you, below you, to the sides of you, behind you, and in front of you. What kinds of movements feel really good for your spine?
And notice now what happens when you invite your rib cage into these movements. This amazing, beautiful rib cage of yours. This rib cage that holds space for the vital organs of your body, protects them. This spacious volume of bone, what kinds of movements inspire your rib cage? And notice, are you allowing the whole of your rib cage to be in your attention? Back, sides, front, right up to your collarbone. This amazing rib cage of yours. What kinds of movements does it want to make? Notice what is happening for your shoulder blades. What happens when you invite your shoulder blades into the movement of your rib cage and the whole length of your spine? Notice, are you just concentrating on the shoulder blades at the back? Or are you allowing the front of your shoulders to be included? Feel into what happens when you invite the soft fronts of your shoulders to lead the movements. If you notice any clicks or cracks, pops, sticky bits, that's absolutely fine. Go soft, go gentle, go what feels really easy. What feels easy and effortless and just a joy to move with. And notice what is happening for your arms. What happens when you allow your arms to become involved in the movements of your shoulders? Allow your arms to become the leaders of the movement. And what happens when you invite these beautiful arms of yours to explore the space above you, below you, to the sides of you, behind you, and in front of you? Really let yourself explore the kinds of movement. Um, 
And what happens when you invite your elbows to lead the movements of your arms? How do your movements change now when it's your elbows exploring the space above you, below you, to the sides of you, behind you, and in front of you? Let yourself explore where your elbows want to go. Notice, have you focused your attention on the outer elbow? What happens if you invite the soft insides of your elbows to lead the movements? And what is happening for your wrists? Can you feel the connection between the soft insides of your wrists and the soft insides of your elbows? What happens when you allow the soft insides of your wrists to lead the exploration of the space above you, below you, the sides of you, behind you, and in front of you. And what is happening for your fingers and your palms, the backs of your hands and the backs of your wrists? Really let yourself play now with the sensations of movement, the sensations of breathing into and noticing the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands and your fingers and fingernails. And maybe if it feels like a nice, easy thing to do, just bring your hands together. Let them give each other a bit of attention. And through your own touch, your own hands, you're just saying hello you to so your own hands your own wrists, your own fingers, just giving a bit of attention to these wonderful hands. And knowing how much they handle 
being gentle and allowing yourself to hold your own hands. Taking a breath, opening yourself up and out to the kinds of movements that your hands want to make, that your shoulders want to make, that your elbows want to make, that your spine wants to make. And then inviting your head and face into these movements. Maybe you will want to gently roll your head around your neck. You might feel some clicks and cracks and little pops and little sticky bits. Absolutely fine. You're just letting yourself move in whatever way feels right for you. And if some emotion has come up, let yourself move with that emotion. Even if that emotion feels like it doesn't want to move, let yourself be tender, let yourself be fierce, let yourself be powerful, let yourself move in whatever way feels good for your head and your face. Open your mouth, let your lips, teeth, tongue and jaw explore the space. Let yourself explore the space above you, below you, to the sides of you, behind you and in front of you with your cheeks, lips, tongue, teeth, gums, and jaw. Notice how your eyes get involved. Notice how your neck gets involved. Notice how your sternum gets involved. And notice what happens if you invite your heels and your toes into these movements of your face, your tongue, your teeth, and your jaw. Had you become quite still for your feet and your toes and your heels? Invite your whole body into movement now. Noticing what happens, where you want to go, which bits of your body are calling for your attention, which parts of you feel like they really want to move, which parts of you just need more breath, which parts of you want to soften and be still. I'm going to go silent for two or three minutes while you really take this time without my voice to just move in whatever way feels really good for you. And then I'll come back in and I will invite you into the closing part of our session today.
Hello you, bringing yourself now towards a place of stillness. Allowing the movements, if there were any, to drop away. Just slowly, gently, there's no rush. And finding a place where you can be for a few minutes. Somewhere you feel like you can rest. That might be standing, sitting, or lying down, it really doesn't matter. Just finding a place to be more still. And notice how do you feel now. Everything is welcome. Everything is welcome here. Just notice how you feel. And when you're ready, if you want to, bring your hands to your face and hold your own face in your own hands. Hold your own face in your own hands. And say to yourself, Hello, you. Whatever emotions come, they are all welcome here. Let yourself breathe. Let yourself breathe. So we've come to the end of this Hello You movement session today. Thank you so much for joining me. Go incredibly gently with yourself. Maybe give yourself a big cuddle. Maybe say well done to yourself or taking the time to explore the kinds of movements that your body wanted to make today. So I'm gonna come back onto the camera. And if anybody wants to say anything, just a little comment on how you're feeling, really well. And if you don't, that's fine too. <sighs> One on the chat box. Well, yeah, thank you everybody for coming along. Lots of love from me at the end of a wonderful World Childless Week. Bye.
Have a lovely Sunday. Bye.